Welcome to RTA. In this week's video, we're going to be discussing the book Melanin by Laila Africa. We hope you like it. Now let's get into the juicy news. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to celebrate National Hispanic Heritage Month which goes from September 15th, 2021 to October 15th, 2021. And it is this time that we should recognize and honor all of those Hispanic Americans that have made huge contributions to the United States through history and culture, as well as achievements. All right, congratulations to Pamela Uba, who is a South African native. She was just recently crowned the 2021 Miss Ireland. She's the first Black Miss Ireland in its 74 year history. So a big congratulations to Pamela Uba. And now let's get ready for the lifestyle and beauty highlights. Now, if you guys are on the hunt for a good matte lipstick for the fall time, I got your back. Tarte is one of my favorites. As you can see, I have two of them here. I have one in the color Wannabe and one in the color Fortune. Fortune is more of a taupe brown and Wannabe is more of a really dark brown. I feel like these are really good, especially for the fall time. I also have a NARS lipstick in the color Laguna, which I personally am using and wearing right now. It's really natural, but it's really giving that fall neutral vibe. If you're wanting a lip combination, I suggest getting a brown lip pencil. This one is in the color Brown by NK Makeup, really affordable. And go ahead and layer it with a neutral pink. This is NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Athens. And I absolutely use this on an everyday basis. So if you are needing a matte lipstick that is fall related and fall proof, go ahead and check the description box and I will link all of them down below. Now let's get into today's topic. And so in today's video, we're going to be discussing the book um, <clears throat> Melanin by Dr. Africa. And in this book, um, Dr. Africa just highlights the uh, importance of melanin and it's essential to life. Uh, uh, so um, he states that it's essential to um, life. So I just want to um, touch on five highlights um, that I found to be quite interesting um, in the book. And so I'm gonna be reading five excerpts from the book, um, like I said, that I feel um, are really, really interesting and that I was able to gain a lot of knowledge from. And so hopefully you guys are able to do the same. All right, so I wanna start by uh, saying that um, Dr. Uh, Africa states that the subject of melanin is straightforward and simple to talk about. Um, and he also mentions that melanin is the biochemical substance that drives physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual life. And I wanna repeat that. Um, according to Dr. Africa, he states that melanin is the biochemical substance that drives physical, mental, emotional and spiritual life okay so that's the very essence uh, of the entire book but like i said um it, it goes a little bit more it goes into depth uh, obviously and um and it's uh it goes uh it's very um a very deep meaningful book okay and i highly highly recommend it um to you so um let's go ahead and dive right into it 
Um, the first excerpt that I'm going to be reading from is going to be found on page seven of the book. And it mentions that the pituitary, pituitary gland, which is a gland in the middle of the brain that secretes growth hormones, has been erroneously called the master gland. However, the pineal gland, which is also in the middle of the brain, is the true master gland. Okay, the pineal gland secretes melanin, which regulates all bodily functions and glands in the body. And I wanna repeat that point right there. The pineal gland secretes melanin, okay, which, is, which regulates all bodily functions and glands in the body. So that, um, my friends, is a very, very uh, important um, point that I wanted to pull out of the book uh, because that's um, some vitally important information there. Um, the next point, number two, um, is gonna be found on page 13 of the book. And it states that the pineal glands ability to secrete melanin is sunlight dependent. Okay, so when we think about this, um, you wanna think, keep in mind the children, all right? So when children are deprived of sunlight, it can cause physical and emotional problems, all right? I wanna repeat that. When children are deprived of sunlight, it can cause physical and emotional problems. And remember, that's gonna stem from um, knowing that melanin is sunlight dependent and if you're depriving yourself or children of that sunlight, um, then in turn, it's gonna cause physical and, and emotional problems, okay? Um, and, and they may have to wind, you or your children may have to wind up taking a uh, melanin supplement, and, but you want to try to avoid that and, and absorb that mel melanin naturally by getting out into that sunlight. All right, so uh, the third point that I wanna pull from the book is found on page 22, and it states that the melanin is the body's computer in a liquid form. I'm gonna repeat that. The melanin is the body's computer in a liquid form. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so if you think about um, all of the functions of a computer, um, that's a lot of functions, okay, in order to get a computer to work. So um, just like it states in this book, the same way, you know, the computer is composed of many different components, so is, um, you know, that's how the melanin works inside of our body. So it's translating information to different cells and different parts of our body, different glands, um, to communicate, okay, uh, certain information so that our body, our body, as I mentioned at the beginning, so that um, our body can function physically, mentally, um, emotionally, and spiritually, okay? All right, um, number four. Uh, the fourth point that I want to make is actually found on page eight. Okay, and that is um, Dr. Africa states that melanin is the natural chemical that makes black people's skin black. It is present in black people's bodies, skin, cells, nerves, brain, muscles, bones, reproductive and digestive systems, and all bodily functions in a higher amount than all other races. Okay. The color of melanin appears as black because it is absorbing all color. So isn't, isn't that interesting? Once the color enters the melanin, it cannot escape. Melanin is concentrated colors. It is a cellular black hole similar to the black holes in outer space. Okay, so um, I just want to repeat the fact that, um, that melanin is actually found, okay, in all, um, all of these different systems within the bot body in higher amounts as it pertains to, to black people. Okay, so everyone has melanin, uh, but uh, black people tend to, um, to contain a higher amount of it. 
okay? Um, and then number five, uh, the fifth point that I want to make is actually found on page 27 of the book, and that is consciousness is a cultural element. The culture educates a person to have awareness and awareness gives consciousness. So a junk food diet will decrease melanin and this causes a decreased consciousness. I want to repeat that very, very important point. A junk food diet will decrease melanin and this causes a decreased consciousness, okay? So those are um, the five points that I wanted to just kind of share with you um, that I pulled from the book, to, like I said, to be quite interesting and, um, and I, that I was able to gain a lot of wisdom and knowledge from. Um, again, I highly, highly recommend this book, Melanin by Dr. Africa. Um, those are just a few uh, excerpts that I was able to pull, but there's much, much more in-depth information inside of this book. So if you're able to do so, you know, research your local bookstores that may have it in stock um, or go online and search. There's lots of online outlets that have it in stock and order this book today. Um, it is definitely going to be for your benefit. All right. That's all I have for today. Thank you uh, for watching and please don't forget to give this video a like, share this video, and don't forget, hit that notification bell for more videos like this to come.